Hello guys. Welcome to this session. How are you all? Good evening. I hope I didn't keep you waiting. Thank you. I'm feeling happy because we are going a, doing a lot of wonderful work. Pranam, welcome, good evening. Today we are covering, I decided to wear uh, good clothes and come every day. What do you say? Okay. <laughs> Guys, today we have a lot of things to cover. American and Indian literatures. In case this is too much, no problem. We can do. Right, guys. I want to do next week. Every week we'll have a new five-day test course, okay? What do you say? Every week, we'll have a new five-day test course. Next week, I want to do literary theory. What do you say? Yes. I'm fine. I have been working. We are bringing out new books. Encyclopedia editing is going on. New encyclopedia. Before next exam, I'm going to make all this. It is so exciting. It is so exciting. Every week we'll have five day test course. Okay. That is awesome. Shall we move on to talk about American literature first? Early American literature. We will cover a lot of authors and I will also ask you questions. We will cover a lot of important things. Okay, guys. Guys, I will study more literary theory, everything to teach you. I will study more and more. It won't be the same like before. I will add new, new things, learn more and more. Okay, wonderful. Harriet Beecher Stowe, very early writer who wrote Uncle Tom's Cabin. Uncle Tom's Cabin. Your encouragement is making me do more and more wonderful things, guys. You are the people doing it, not me. It is your encouragement that is helping me. <laughs> what do you want me to do? Thank you. Everything will do. Result, I have no idea. Let us wait. Whenever the result comes, we will be ready. Don't worry about all, the, all that. It will come. And many of you are going to pass. And some of you will get Jareth. Wow. Now tell me, Uncle Tom's Cabin, what is the subtitle? Uncle Tom's Cabin is an abolitionist book. Abolitionist novel means novel about the abolition of slavery. Before the Civil War. Civil War was between 1861 to 65. Will you remember? Uh, Uncle Tom's Cabin subtitle is Life Among the Lowly. Subtitle is Life Among the Lowly. Um, there are many slave narratives written during this time. Do you remember Frederick Douglass? He wrote Narrative of the Life of Frederick Douglass, an American slave. There is a famous lecture. Ignu PhD entrance ka bhi ye ho raha hai na? Ignu PhD. B, all these authors and works are important. Frederick Douglass. What is the famous lecture by Frederick Douglass? What to the slave is the 4th of July? What to the slave is the 4th of July? Have you heard of that? It's a very important. Uh, 
lecture that Frederick Douglass gave. Right, guys? Then, there, who are the other slave writers? Harriet Wilson, Harriet Jacobs. Do you remember other slave writers? Harriet Wilson, Harriet Jacobs. Nathaniel Hawthorne. Nathaniel Hawthorne was a dark romantic. And I, Nathaniel Hawthorne was a dark romantic. And his marble fawn. First published was Fanshawe. Fanshawe. First published. And then marble fawn. Both same year. Getting me guys? Rina, I am doing this now. All these are important for Ignu entrance also. I will... Uh, dark romantic means showing dark passions. Gothic elements. Dark romanticism. Important figures are Nathaniel Hawthorne, Herman Melville. Yes, Sanjana, Ulada Equiano, William Wells, no Solomon Northup. Very important figures. Okay. Now, tell me. Uh, the Scarlet Letter, 1850 it was. The Scarlet Letter came in 1850. The Marble Fawn was subtitled. The Romance of Montebeni. Do you know that? You should look up Nathaniel Hawthorne's works. Nathaniel Hawthorne wrote short stories including... Young Goodman Brown. Young Goodman Brown. Important. Nathaniel Hawthorne. Young Goodman Brown. Yes. Then he wrote The Blythedale Romance. Which is a... The Blythedale Romance is a satire on transcendentalism. The Blythedale Romance is a satire on transcendentalism. Will you remember... Hester's hair, na? Is that what you were saying? Uh, Dolliver romance. Oh, I didn't know that. Dolliver romance. Okay. The Dolliver romance is by uh, Nathaniel Hawthorne. The Dolliver Romance. Okay. Now, next, uh, shall I ask you some questions, guys? Shall I ask you some questions? Uh, in which place is, uh, uh, in which place is um, Scarlet Letter set, Bolo? In which place is Scarlet Letter set? Scarlet Letter is set in Boston. Correct. Yes, twice told tales. Moses from an old man's. Okay, I will write that also. Twice told tales. Then, Moses from an old man's. These are the other works of uh, Nathaniel Hawthorne. Which is the which novel by Nathaniel Hawthorne is about Maul's curse? M A U L E. Which novel by Nathaniel Hawthorne about is about Maul's curse? It is the House of the Seven Gables. The House of the Seven Gables. Thank you, guys. Um, on a black background, the letter A. What do you mean by that? On a field disabled, the letter A gules. On a black background, a red letter A means what? A wonder book for girls and boys. Yes, yes. It is the uh, 
epitaph of Hester. Wonderful. Encyclopedia of American Literature, I am writing. Carol, sir, it will bring out, it is almost ready. Very good, very good. Then tell me, um, Brook Farm Community is satirized in which book? The Brook Farm Community is satirized in which book? The Brook Farm Community is satirized in the Blythedale Romance. What is the name of the protagonist in the Blythedale Romance? Uh, the protagonist in Blythedale Romance is Miles Coverdale. Miles Coverdale. Wonderful. Now, Herman Melville. Tell me, uh, Herman Melville wrote Moby Dick in which year? 1851. 1851. And to whom was it dedicated? To whom was Moby Dick dedicated? Moby Dick was dedicated to Nathaniel Hawthorne. Nathaniel Hawthorne. Very good. Um, what is the name of the protagonist in... Moby Dick, Captain Ahab. Captain Ahab. Who is the Parsi character? Parsi character who is making a prophecy in Moby Dick. Which Parsi character makes a prophecy in Moby Dick? Yes, call me Ishmael. Oh, I didn't uh, share yesterday's PDF. I, th I thought I shared. I think it is there. I will share again, okay? Which, who is the Parsi character? It is Fedela. Fedela. And which character has uh, which character has a body covered with tattoos? Which character has a body covered with tattoos? It is Queequeg. Queequeg. Okay. Uh, what is Cetology? There are digressions to cetology. Digressions on cetology in Moby Dick. What is cetology? Cetology is the signs of whaling. The signs of whaling. What is the name of the ship in Moby Dick? Peckward. Peckward. Billy Butt Sailor is sometimes... Um, Prescribed in universities. What is the name of the ship in Billy Bud Sailor? It is HMS Hellespont. Helis, uh, sorry, HMS Bellipotent. Ship is HMS Bellipotent. Will you remember, guys? Then, Edgar Allan Poe. Edgar Allan Poe has written. Poems like The Raven. Then, can you tell me other poems by Edgar Allan Poe? Ulalume. To Science. To Helen. Al Araf. These are poems by Edgar Allan Poe. He has written many short stories. Tales of the Grotesque and Arabesque. The Pit and the Pendulum. The Telltale Heart. This is the name of his collection. The Pit and the Pendulum. The Telltale Heart. The Murders at Rue Morgue. Can you tell me more? The Oval Portrait. Tamerlane. Then the Fall of the House of Usher. Ah, the Purloined Letter. The Purloined Letter. What are his famous essays? The philosophy of composition and the poetic principle. The poetic principle. The philosophy of composition and the poetic principle. Will you remember guys? These are important essays by Edgar Allan Poe. He has also written Annabelle Lee, Lenore. Annabelle Lee, Lenore, 
These are all poems by Edgar Allan Poe. Will you remember? The poetic principle, remember, okay? Yes. He wrote the first detective story, The Murders at Rue Morgue. See here, last one, The Murders at Rue Morgue. Wonderful. Now, The Transcendental Club. The Transcendental Club. Do you know in which year Transcendental Club was formed? 1836. It was uh, formed in 1836. Then, tell me, what is the name of the journal of Transcendental Club? The journal of the Transcendental Club is called The Dial. Wonderful, The Dial. Ralph Waldo Emerson, Henry David Thoreau, Margaret Fuller, E. W. Channing, Amos Bronson Alcott. These are important figures. And tell me, what is the place associated with transcendentalism? The place associated with transcendentalism is Concord. Concord. What are the important concepts of transcendentalism? Important concepts. Over soul. Then, the transparent eyeball. Oversoul, the transparent eyeball, then self culture movement, then then uh, nature itself is an important concept, self reliance. These are important aspects uh, of... What is the major book by Margaret Fuller? Woman in the... Uh, know thyself. Self-reliance and know thyself. Margaret Fuller's major book, Woman in the 19th century. Woman in the 19th century. Which are the major poems by Ralph Waldo Emerson Bolo? Major poems by Ralph Waldo Emerson. Brahma. Hamatreya. Brahma. Hamatreya. Concord him. That is right. What are the Uriel? Which are the major essays by Emerson Bolo? Representative men. Oversoul, the American scholar, self reliance. They, Henry David Thoreau wrote Civil Disobedience. Do you know Thoreau's poems? Friendship, Epitaph on the World. So many poems, everybody is saying wonderful. Then, um, Walden, Thoreau's Walden. You remember all this now? Yeah? Very good. Then, Ralph Waldo Emerson, I have given the names here. Nature, Concord Him, American Scholar, Oversoul, Brahma. Are you collecting the PDF from the Telegram group, everybody? Is this helping you? I hope this is helping you. You can just WhatsApp me for the Telegram link and free PDF. If any one of you is new here, Please WhatsApp me, okay, guys? 9037357688. And you will automatically get the Telegram link. Yes. Now, Henry David Thoreau, Walden is subtitled Life in the Woods. The subtitle of Walden is Life in the Woods. Yes, plea for John Brown also. Correct, Shabani. That is right. Now, Walt Whitman wrote Leaves of Grass. Walt Whitman's Leaves of Grass is his main book to be published in his life. Only book to be published. Uh, 
um, Leaves of Grass was first published with how many poems, Bolo? I will post it again. Don't worry, African authors, I will post again. Ye Bolo, how many poems were there in the first edition of Leaves of Grass? There were... 12 poems in the first edition of Leaves of Grass. There were 12 poems, okay? Song of Myself, When Lilacs Last in the Dooryard Bloomed, Out of the Cradle Endlessly Rocking, Crossing Brooklyn Ferry, all important poems. Shall I ask you one question? In which poem did Walt Whitman praise the achievements of uh, engineering? In which poem did Walt Whitman praise the achievements of engineering? Yes, oh captain, my captain also. Second edition, 20 poems. Okay. Third edition, 124 poems. Anima is giving a whole encyclopedia here. Title is taken from Emerson's poem, The Poet. Correct. Correct. It is in Passage to India that Walt Whitman praised the marvels of engineering. That is right. I Sing the Body Electric is another important poem. Very good, guys. Very good. He wrote about Abraham Lincoln. Then Brahmin poets. The Brahmin poets include Oliver Wendell Holmes, Henry Wadsworth Longfellow, James Russell Lowell. Oliver Wendell Holmes, Henry Wadsworth Longfellow, H.W. Longfellow is an important writer. He wrote Evangeline, The Song of Hayavada. These are poems based on Native American culture, Native American characters. Yes, very good guys, very good. And uh, Henry Wadsworth Longwillow is important. Um, Oliver Wendell Holmes wrote Old Iron Sides. Shall I type, guys? Old Iron Sides. Henry Wadsworth Longwillow wrote Evangeline and the Song of Hayavada. Very good. Now, John Greenleaf Whittier is the author of the famous poem, Snowbound. Today I will post all the PDF together, okay? Ah, the Brahmin poets were called Brahmin poets because they wrote in a very upper caste style. They wrote in a very upper class style. Fireside poets are slightly different. Fireside poets are not exactly the same. Some overlap is there. Did you understand, guys? Brahmin poets were called Brahmin poets because they wrote in a very upper caste style. TK, which is the famous poem by William Cullen Bryant, Bolo? Thanatopsis. Did you know Thanatopsis is a graveyard poem? Thanatopsis is a graveyard poem. American graveyard poem. Yes, guys, those who want to get a uh, telegram link, please WhatsApp me. I am posting my WhatsApp number. Right. William Cullen Bryant wrote Thanatopsis and To a Waterfowl. He was a longtime editor of New York Evening Post. To a Waterfowl, also important. TK. Henry Wadsworth Langfellow, I told you. Evangeline, the tale of Akiri, the song of Hayavada. Yes, Thanatopsis is a meditation on death. That's right. Emily Dickinson, she was called the nun of Amherst. Tell me all the important works of Emily Dickinson. Because I could not stop for death, he kindly stopped for me. My life closed twice before its close. I heard a fly buzz when I died. I felt a funeral in my brain. A bird, a bird came down the walk. 
I had posted uh, Emily Dickinson videos in Instagram. I uh, one of my friends read out the poems and I made a video. Did you watch that? Did you like it? The village blacksmith. Yes, Annet, that is right. The village blacksmith is by H. Uh, w. Longfellow. That is right. Did you know? H. W. Longfellow also wrote Hyperion. H. W. Longfellow also wrote Hyperion. That is right. Success is counted sweetest. Another important poem. Success is counted sweetest. I am nobody. Who are you? That is another poem. Hope is a thing with feathers. Yes. I dwell in possibility. Thank you for saying that. Very good. The soul selects her own society is a very famous poem. The soul selects her own society. Thank you guys. Then, next, uh, Mark Twain. Mark Twain is a realist. Mark Twain belongs to realism. Adventures of Tom Sawyer, Adventures of Huckleberry Finn and Life on the Mississippi. These are very important books by Mark Twain. What are the other important works by Mark Twain? Ye bolo. The celebrated jumping frog of Calaveras County. Shall I write guys? That was the first, first book. The celebrated jumping frog of Calaveras County. Have you heard of that? And then he wrote the Gilded Age. He wrote the Gilded Age. The Prince and the Pauper. What is the real name of Mark Twain? Samuel Langhorn Clemens. Samuel Langhorn Clemens. The Tragedy of Puddenhead Wilson. The Tragedy of Puddenhead Wilson. Advice to Little Girls. He wrote one advice to little girls. Did you know that, guys? Advice to little girls. <laughs> Mississippi is a setting. Guys, are you all following every day at 6 videos? We are posting every day at 6 p.m. videos. Are you, po are you uh, following that? I think it's very useful. Also, guys, uh, in every day at 6, I am following our encyclopedia thoroughly. If you want all the information on every day at 6 videos, it is encyclopedia details. And all these will be from next upcoming encyclopedia. You should please share the video with your friends. Okay, guys. Okay. 20th century American literature is coming. Chang, 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 chang. I'm like a child. Some of you will be thinking, what is this? She is not a good teacher. She is acting like a child. Yes. Astika, it was Spencer today. 20th century American literature. Ta -da -da! Sinclair Lewis is important. Why? Why is Sinclair Lewis important, Bolo? Sinclair Lewis is the author of many important novels about the upper classes. And Sinclair Lewis was the first Nobel laureate. Sinclair Lewis was the first Nobel laureate. He is the author of Babbitt, Arrowsmith. It can't happen here. Will you remember these titles? Babbitt, Arrowsmith. It can't happen here. <laughs> I am only acting like this and doing like this because that is my nature. Also, you will remember easily in the exam. That is why. Sinclair Lewis, 
first nobel laureate will you remember he wrote satires on upper classes did you will you remember satires on upper classes edith wharton first woman to win pulitzer prize edith wharton was the first woman to win pulitzer prize <laughs> age of innocence age of innocence is based on what bolo age of innocence is based on the portrait of a lady by henry james age of innocence is based on the portrait of a lady by henry james did you know that the innocence all right yes yes innocence correct age of innocence as the protagonist um newland archer newland archer naturalism what do you mean by naturalism guys naturalism is a kind of realism okay naturalism is a kind of realism where human beings are presented as products of their environment i am like this because of my environment did you understand that is the meaning of naturalism i am like this because of my environment human beings are presented as products of their environment ayyo naturalism who are the characters ayyo do you remember stephen crane theodore dreiser jack london the stephen crane what did he write guys you can whatsapp me for telegram link if you don't know the telegram link whatsapp me Yes, Stephen Crane. You know what he did, guys. Stephen Crane actually went into difficult situations in life so that he can experience it and then write about it. Many of his stories are based on his real experiences. Stephen Crane's most important story is not based on any real experience. His most important story is Red Badge of Courage. Correct. Red Badge of Courage. all right then tell me theodore dreiser what did he write theodore dreiser wrote sister carry an american tragedy shall i write the red badge of courage open boat theek hai theodore dreiser ne kya likha an american tragedy these are all criticisms of american dream okay Dr criticism of american dream sister carry wonderful jack london ne kya likha the call of the wild white fang tararang naturalism early 20th century okay then harlem renaissance when was the harlem renaissance bolo 1920s the harlem renaissance was in the 1920s harlem renaissance happened in harlem near new york guys when you join the telegram group go to the files section you will get so many pdfs there with thousands of questions download all of that and use it okay हंड्रेड नहीं थाउजेंड्स ऑफ क्वेश्चन मिलेगा इन द फाइल्स टैब ठीक है ऐसे ऐसे ग्रुप में मत देखना जाके फाइल्स टैब में देखना ओके ठीक है वॉट इट जी इन टू मर राइट अच्छो आयो जी इन टू मर रोड केन केन इज द वेरी मेजर वर्क बाय जी इन टू मर वॉट इट क्लॉड मे के राइट home to harlem banana bottom home to harlem banana bottom what did zora neil hurston write their eyes were watching god guys when you watch every day at 6 plus 10 pm class together it will be like an amazing course okay it will be like an amazing course 
Alain Locke wrote New Negro. Langston Hughes was a very major figure. Very major figure. Langston Hughes. Langston Hughes said, I too sing America. What did Walt Whitman say? Walt Whitman said, I sing America. Hmm. Black man Langston Hughes said, I too sing America. Did you understand? Wow, that is Harlem Renaissance. Black pride, pride in being black. That is the dust tracks on a road, correct? Thank you, Anima. Dust tracks on a road. Anima, Sanjana, so many of you are answering so many questions. You know so much. I am so happy. I am proud of you, all of you. I want our country to be known in your name. I want everywhere in the world people to say, let us go to India. Because in India, people know English literature. We want them to say that, right? Yes, imagism. Tell me important figures in imagism. You don't have to tell me. I've given here. Ezra Pound, Amy Lovell, Hilda Doolittle, Richard Aldington, William Carlos Williams, James Joyce, F.S. Flint. They were all inspired by the father of imagism, T. Hume. T. Hume. Will you remember? Imagism. Who's... Um, Whose uh, dictum was, make it new. Who said, make it new. It was Ezra Pound. Ezra Pound said, make it new. Hana. Uh, Ezra Pound wrote many works. Ezra Pound wrote many works. ta da dang nee. Ezra Pound wrote a retrospect. ABC of reading, reposters, cantos. Yesterday we said why? Because when we start, talked about modernism, we said. Which is the first imagist anthology? Bolna padega aapko. Which is the first imagist anthology? Bolo. Nei to mein aage nahi jaungi. Bolo. First imagist anthology is Des Imagistus. First anthology, Des Imagistus. Des Imagistus. Next, after the First World War, there was the lost generation. It was a generation of writers who are lost because of the World War. It was Gertrude Stein who told Hemingway and others Guys, you are all a lost generation. Hemingway said, Mil gaya, mil gaya mujhe epita, epigraph for my first novel. Hem Hemingway's first novel, The Sun Also Rises, took this as epi epigraph. You are all a lost generation is the epigraph of The Sun Also Rises. Did you understand? The Sun Also Rises, followed by a farewell to arms. For whom the bell tolls, the old man and the sea. So many books. What is the writing technique of Hemingway called? Bolo. The writing technique of Hemingway is called. The writing technique of Hemingway is called. Iceberg technique. So now iceberg hai na? Only a top small part of the iceberg will be outside. Everything else will be inside. Only a little bit he reveals in his writing. That is iceberg technique. Will you remember? Iceberg technique. Uh, the snows of Kilimanjaro. What is it? The snows of Kilimanjaro. Kilimanjaro is the tallest peak in Africa. The sto snows of Kilimanjaro is a short story. The snows of Kilimanjaro is a short story. A clear, well-lit place. That is also a short story. In which of these short stories do you have the character Robert Jordan? He is fighting in the Spanish Civil War. Robert Jordan fighting in the Spanish Civil War. 
Wonderful guys, you are all such wonderful people they are. Everyone is writing answers, answers, answers. It's so good. YouTube should, should give an award to you. YouTube should give you an award. Wow, these people in uh, YouTube are so awesome. Award. Bolo. Robert Jordan is in For Whom the Bell Tolls. Lieutenant Frederick Henry and Catherine are in. Lieutenant Frederick Henry and Catherine are in A Farewell to Arms. What fish is Santiago catching in the old man and the sea? What is the fish that Santiago catches in old man and the sea? It is a huge marlin. It is a huge marlin. You two babies, don't cry Astika. Astika got emotional. Yes, Nirmal Pandya said it. This is the Jaws age. 1920s is the Jaws age. This is also 1920s. Jaws age. F. Scott Fitzgerald. F. Scott Fitzgerald wrote The Great Gatsby. It is a roaring 20s novel. Uh, the Jaws age is called Roaring 20s novel. Will you remember my babies? And then there is Henry Miller. Henry Miller wrote Tropic of Cancer, Tropic of Capricorn. They are great novels. How do you know? Because they were banned. <laughs> they are great novels because they were banned. Are koi ne Astika. Don't get emotional Astika. Joe DiMaggio occurs in which book? Joe DiMaggio occurs in which book? Bolo, bolo. Joe DiMaggio is a baseball player. Appearing in, not appearing. The old man Santiago always talks about Joe DiMaggio to his companion Manolin. Manolin. Okay. Did you like it? Did you know, guys? Are puja. Tropic of Cancer and Tropic of Capricorn is full of sexuality. So much sex. So much reference to real people. It is very strong satire. That is why it was banned. And Tropic of Cancer underwent obscenity trial along with Lady Chatterley's lover and Fanny Hill. ta -da -da! Next important writer, Eugene O'Neill. He brought realism into drama, but he also experimented with expressionism. Eugene O'Neill brought realism into drama. He also brought in expressionism. Did you like it, guys? This is a great writer. Now, so now, beyond the horizon, beyond the horizon is... A novel about two brothers. Beyond the Horizon is a novel about two brothers. Robert and Andrew. Emperor Jones is expressionist. Emperor Jones has eight acts, eight scenes. Introduction, conclusion. And then in between there are six hallucinations of Brutus Jones. Six hallucinations of Brutus Jones. That is Emperor Jones. Hairy Ape is also expressionist. Hairy Ape is the story of Robert Smith or Bob Smith who is called Yank. Robert Smith or Bob Smith who is called Yank. That is the Hairy Ape. Long days journey into night. It is about his own family, O'Neill's own family. Tell me guys, there is another play in which Ephraim Cabot is the protagonist. Tell me, Ephraim Cabot is the protagonist. Are Bikram Chaudhary is already saying, Desire Under the M's. Desire Under the M's is the story of Puritan Ephraim Cabot. 
Will you remember? Ta -da -da -da, the Great Depression. The Great Depression. Arthur Miller. Tennessee Williams. Important figures. Okay, let me ask you questions. Which of these plays is set in St. Louis? Which of these plays is set in St. Louis? All God's children have wings. Correct. Which of these is set in St. Louis? It is the glass menagerie. The grass menagerie. Did you know guys, when I talked about Eugene O'Neill, I didn't say something. He brought for the first time African American characters as protagonists. Yes. All the Great Depression works are about the failure of the American dream. Right. Glass menagerie is set in St. Louis. Uh, now tell me, which of these works shows John Proctor and Abigail. John Proctor and Abigail. Bolo, bolo. John Proctor and Abigail. It is the crucible. Which of these works won Pulitzer Prize in 1949? Which of these won Pulitzer Prize in 1949? Are you enjoying the session, guys? Am I boring you? It is the death of a salesman. Death of a salesman won Pulitzer Prize in 1949. Guys, will you please remember to like the video, everybody? Will you please like the video, everybody? All right. Joe Keller and Steve Deaver are in. Joe Keller and Steve Deaver are in. Joe Keller and Steve Deaver are in. All my sons. Which of these plays is about, uh, it was written after his marriage, uh, divorce with Marilyn Monroe, I think. It is after the fall. After the fall. Based on Arthur Miller's marriage to Marilyn Monroe. ta da, -da wonderful. Ye bolo. In which play do you have Blanche Du Bois? Blanche Du Bois. Ravi Kumar, will you please check out our um, bodhitreepublications.org? Please check out bodhitreepublications.org to know about the books. That is our company where we have all the books. Okay. New books are coming. Okay. Blanche Du Bois is in A Streetcar Named Desire. A Streetcar Named Desire. Ye bolo. Which is William Faulkner's first novel? Which is William Faulkner's first novel? It is Soldier's Pay. Soldier's Pay. The Sound and the Fury has how many parts? Four parts. Sound and the Fury has four parts. Will you remember, guys? Addy Brunden dies in which which novel? Addy Brunden. It is an ass I lay dying. Did you know, guys? Uh, William Faulkner also know, wrote Snopes trilogy. Snopes trilogy. Remember, okay? Snopes trilogy. The Sound and the Fury title is taken from, yes, uh, Macbeth. From where As I Lay Dying is taken? As I Lay Dying is taken from Iliad, I think. Iliad. Iliad. And uh, William Faulkner created which plays? That's okay, Richa. William Faulkner created the plays. Yokna Patafa. Yokna Patafa. Yokna Patafa. Wonderful. The Hamlet, the town and the mansion. That is right, Anima. John Steinbeck wrote Tortilla Flat, Dust Bowl Trilogy. Which are Dust Bowl Trilogy novels? In Dubious Battle. 
of my and men, the grapes of wrath. Dust Bowl trilogy means people are going from Oklahoma to California because of dust storms. Dust storms. Will you remember? And guys, next slide is Edward Albee. He wrote Absurd Plays. Did you know that? You know it, right? He was the absurd playwright. Edward Albee, absurd playwright. Modernist poets, William Carlos Williams, Wallace Stevens, E. E. Cummings, Hart Crane. Questions to you. Which of these writers wrote The Bridge? The Wasteland like poem, The Bridge. ta da, -da. It is Hart Crane. Hart Crane. Anecdote of a Jar. Emperor of Ice Cream. These are Anecdote of a Jar. The Emperor of Ice Cream. These are Poems by Wallace Stevens. Poems by Wallace Stevens. The Red Wheelbarrow by William Carlos Williams. Hannah and E. E. Cummings wrote Pattern Poetry. Typographic Novelty. Dekona, Robert Frost. Apart from famous poems stopping by woods on a snowy evening, the road not taken. So many new poems also like Death of a Hired Man, Steeple Bush, West Running Brook, The Gift Outright, Dust of Snow, Home Burial. New of Robert Frost, Frost was from which place guys tell me? He was a New England poet. Robert Frost was a New England poet. Hannah. Then, post-war American literature, beat generation. We have Allen Ginsberg, Jack Kerouac, Lucy and Carr, Neil Cassidy. Tell me, who created the character? Duluaz. Duluaz legend. On the road. These are by Jack Kerouac. Alan Ginsberg wrote. Howl. Howl. And uh, they were very revolutionary poets. And our beat generation. Before the exam, look up all these writers. Okay. Okay, guys. Tell me, who wrote Sunflower? Sorry. Supermarket in California. And Sunflower Sutra. It is Supermarket in California and Sunflower Sutra are poems by Alan Ginsberg. You can WhatsApp me for this uh, telegram group where you will get all this PDF. TK guys. Now, confessional poetry. Robert Lowell, the author of Life Studies. Very important. Robert Lowell, the writer of, author of Life Studies. And Sexton, Sylvia Plath, Adrian Rich. You know these people, right? Jewish American writers, they go. Saul Bellow, Bernard Malamud, Philip Roth. Very important, these people also. Postmodern literature in America. They go Don Delilo. Will you please look up these writers? Yes, in India, confessional writer is Kamala Das. Don Delilo is an important writer. So many postmodern writers I have given. This is homework, okay? You have to do, okay? Will you do? Tell me. You have to do because this is awesome homework for you. Now, don't think. The session is over. Other genres. What are the different genres? Cyberpunk, African American literature, Native American literature. All this is homework because we are going to do Indian English literature. A quick overview of Indian English literature. Get the PDF from the Telegram group. Uh, so many authors and works we have got. It will be amazing.
they go tell me the names of these uh, works works by these authors tell me the major work by a madhavayya a madhavayya tell me the works satyanand clarinda tillai govindan have you heard satyanand clarinda tillai govindan have you heard t ramakrishna pillai wrote padmini rajalakshmi devi what did she write she wrote the hindu wife rajalakshmi devi wrote the hindu wife kripa bai satyanandan wrote kamala and saguna kamala and saguna sevanti bai m nikambe what did she write ratan bai sevanti bai m nikambe wrote ratan bai ye bolo ks venkatramani ne kya likha murugan the tiller and kandan the patriot murugan the tiller and kandan the patriot hena very good wonderful then henry derosio he wrote many poems like song of the hindustani minstrel fakir of jangira chorus of brahmins the pupils of hindu college so many important poems by henry derosio the harp of india that is right michael madhusudan dat the captive lady what did manmohan dat manmohan goes right manmohan goes also wrote poems who is manmohan goes he is the brother of aurobindo goes manmohan goes is the brother of aurobindo goes toru dat everybody knows our kajarina tree lakshman sita the lotus hena then bianca a young spanish maiden rabindranath tagore aurobindo mk gandhi jawahar lal nehru i don't have to tell you these are very important writers neerat si choudhury bolo what are the important works of neerat si choudhury neerat si choudhury wrote the intellectual in india the autobiography of an unknown indian passage to england the continent of sirsi do you want me to write do you know yes bogmari also by torudat so many works yes guys then post independence poets very important we have to talk about them in detail abhi bolo post independence poets shiv ke kumar which are the important works so many important poems are there indian women do you want me to type the poems or you know do you want me to type the poems or do you know i will type okay some of you are saying you i you i should type so i will type wait a minute guys wait a minute guys i am going to start shiv ke kumar road indian women woodpeckers wool gathering a tibetan refuge woman these are all prescribed a tibetan refuge woman nisima sekel you know na nisima sekel you know i saw that yashoda aksha akanksha rahila typing typing 
Nisi Besakil, you know na so many poems. Nisi Besakil's poetry collections are important. Yes. Nisi Besakil wrote, I will write collections. Time to change. The unfinished man. The exact name. They have asked some of these. Latter day. Psalms. Important. Latter day Psalms. Yeah. Very Indian poems in English. Goodbye party for Miss Pushpati. Yes. The pa Patriot. The Professor. Hena, very important poems. And Nisi Mesekil wrote poems like A Morning Walk, The Railway Clerk, How the English Lesson Ended. Play is the Sleepwalkers. The Sleepwalkers is a play by Nisi Mesekil. Got it, guys? Then, Jayanta Mahapatra. Most important poem is relationship. Hunger. Dawn at Puri. So many poems that you need to read and understand. Then, um, he has also written Grandfather. Jayanta Mahapatra, listen to me guys. Jayanta Mahapatra wrote a lot about suffering, very violent imagery, landscape he wrote a lot, about culture. They are very important poems. Uh, Jayanta Mahapatra's poems are very powerful poems about suffering and culture okay then ak ramanujan ak ramanujan has written a group of poems called hindu poems so many of ak ramanujan's poems are about family and domesticity family and domesticity important are the striders looking for a cousin on a swing looking for a cousin on a swing a river Hena, he was also a folklorist and translator. A.K. Ramanujan was a folklorist and translator. Alright, Arun Kolakkar has written a very big book, Jejuri, which contains many important poems. Jejuri, Kala Khoda poems, Sarpashastra poems, Then Kamala Das. Her first collection is Summer in Calcutta. Summer in Calcutta. An introduction is very famous. Everybody knows. The Freaks. An old playhouse. Hena. Am I boring you guys? I hope I'm not boring you. Very more, many important poems are there that all of you have studied. My Grandmother's House, The Sunshine Cat. <laughs> the Descendants. That's right. A hot noon in Malbar, correct. And another very important poet is 
Daruwala, K and Daruwala. Always they ask K and Daruwala's homes. The Ghagra in spade. Very important. Ghagra in spade. Then um, yeah. Map maker. The fire him. Death of a bird. These are very important. Uh, Dom Morais got Sahitya Academy Award for serendipity. Dom Morais got Sahitya Academy Award for serendipity. Will you remember guys? Serendip, sorry. Serendip only. Serendipity nahi. Serendip. Very good, very good. So much we covered. Post-independence poets. Second generation. Agha Shahidali, Meena Alexander, Yunus D'Souza, Meena Kandasami. Please look up all these people. They, they, there will be questions based on them. Which is the award winning book by Arunthadi Subramaniam? When God is a Traveller. Recently, When God is a Traveller. Which is the award winning book by G. Tayal? These errors are correct. These errors are correct. What did Eunice D'Souza write? Women in Dutch painting. What did Meena Kandasamy write? Dutch Miss Militancy. Henna. What did Vijay Namishan write? Madras Central. Madras Central. Will you remember? So many people are saying awesome names. I'm so glad. Yes. Next. Post independence dramatist. Badal Sarkar. Mahashweta Devi. Vijay Tendulkar, <coughs> Girish Karnad, Manjula Patmanabhan, Mahesh Dattani. There are so many. Shall I ask you some questions? Dopdi is a story by. Dopdi is a story by. Yes, Badal Sarkar, Third Theatre and Call Me Ishmael Tonight is by Aga Shahidali. Badal Sarkar, Third Theatre, Eva Mindrajit. Dobdi is a story by Mahashweta Devi. Tara and Chandan are um, Tara and Chandan are conjugal twins created by characters created by Mahesh Dattani. Yavakri, Arvasu, Paravasu. These are characters in Yavakri, Arvasu, Paravasu. Characters in Girish Karnads. The fire and the rain. The fire and the rain. Now, who wrote the poem Wedding Album? The, depicting Vidula and Ashwin. The wedding album depicting Vidula and Ashwin. It is also Girish Karnad. Girish Karnad. Um, which play by Vijay Tendulkar was banned? Which play by Vijay Tendulkar was banned? Kashiram Kotwal. Kashiram Kotwal. Then, Leela Banare is the central character in, Leela Banare is the central character in, Silence the court is in session. Silence the court is in 
session who wrote lights out the play depicting violence against women lights out the play depicting violence against women it is manjula patmanabhan manjula patmanabhan which play by mahesh dattani is about cancer victims which play by mahesh dattani is about cancer victims it is brief candle brief candle okay very good now some more tararang post independence novelists which is the partition novel by atiya hussain which is the partition novel by atiya hussain research paper writing okay i will do i will do research paper writing video i will do okay like interview one day i'll do atiya hussain's partition novel is sunlight on a broken column sunlight on a broken column who wrote the work hali who is the author of hali hali is by g v desani hali is by g v desani jagan and mali are characters in jagan and mali are characters in jagan and mali they are in vendor of sweets vendor of sweets who is the author of so many hungers set against bengal famine so many hungers it is bhabani bhattacharya which of who or which of these writers wrote a book with an introduction written by e m foster which of these writers wrote a book with an introduction written by e m foster if you want our telegram link and this pdf please join our telegram uh, please whatsapp me ah e m foster wrote the introduction to untouchable by mulk raj anand untouchable by mulk raj anand now uh, prabha dayal pickle factory appears in which novel prabha dayal pickle factory appears in which novel it is in the novel kooli kooli okay then in which novel do you have vasu the taxidermist vasu the taxidermist is in the man eater of malguri achakka is telling a story in which novel achakka is telling a story in kantapura which character is called a holy vagabond which character is the holy vagabond it is raja rao rama in serpent and the rope rama in the serpent and the rope will you remember guys who wrote the gandhi quartet who wrote the gandhi quartet it is chaman nahal chaman nahal uh who wrote a book called delhi who wrote a book called delhi cause it is kushwan singh who won booker prize for heat and dust who wrote booker prize for heat and dust it is ruth pravar jabwala now second generation writers second generation writers bolo which is the immigrant novel by anita desai which is the immigrant novel by anita desai bye bye blackbird for which novel did shashi deshpande win sahitya academy award 
for which novel did Shashi Desh Pandey win? Sahitya Academy Award. It is that long silence. That long silence. The children Leela and Hari are protagonists in which novel? The children Leela and Hari are in The Village by the Sea by Anita Desai. The Village by the Sea. Ye bolo, who wrote The Foreigner and the Last Labyrinth? The Foreigner and the Last Labyrinth. They are written by Arun Joshi. Arun Joshi. Virmati is the protagonist of a novel by Virmati is the protagonist of a novel by Manju Kapoor. It, Virmati is the protagonist of Difficult Daughters. Difficult Daughters. Which is the ethnographic text written by Amita Ghosh? The ethnographic text. It is in an antique land. In an antique land. Um, then, who wrote Riot, a love story? Riot, a love story. Shashi Tharoor. Who wrote Gun Island? Gun Island. It is Amitabh Ghosh. Who wrote The Forest of Enchantments based on Ramayana? And... The Palace of Illusions based on Mahabharata. The Forest of Enchantments and Palace of Illusions. Chitra Banerjee Divakaruni. And contemporary novelist Bolo. Jeetail Amit Chaudhary. In Anita Nair, Jerry Pinto. Okay, let me ask you. Who wrote... Uh, the low land. The low land. It is Jumpa Lahiri. Who wrote The Last Man in Tower? Last Man in Tower is by Arvind Adiga. M and the Big Whom. Who is the author of M and the Big Whom? It is Jerry Pinto. Who created a character called Anjum? Anjum. It is Arundhati Roy in the book Ministry of Utmost Happiness. Ministry of Utmost Happiness. Who is the author of Ladies Coupe? Ladies Coupe. It is Anita Nair. Anita Nair. Which of these writers, which of these novelists is also a musician or a singer. Which of these novelists is also a singer? It is. Which of these novelists is a singer? It is. Amit Chaudhary. It is Amit Chaudhary. Next last slide. Guess what it is? Tadang! Dalit writers. Dalit writers. Ready guys? Are you ready guys? Who edited Poisoned Bread? Who edited Poisoned Bread Bolo? Who of these writers edited Poisoned Bread? It is Arjun Dangle. Arjun Dangle. Will you remember? Then, Growing Up Untouchable in India is the autobiography of Growing Up Untouchable in India. Autobiography of Vasant Moon. Vasant Moon. Ayyo, I forgot to put one writer. Very important writer. Sharat, Sharan Kumar Limbale. What is the name of Sharan Kumar Limbale's autobiography? Sharan Kumar Limbale's autobiography is? Yes? You want me to type? Okay, I will type. I will type, okay? If you ask me, I will do it. Poisoned bread. Sharan Kumar Limbale towards the Dalit Easter eggs. And Akkar Mashi 
है ना गाइस अकर्माशी वन सेकेंड गाइस वन सेकेंड आई एम मेकिंग अनदर स्लाइड दैट्स ऑल ओके ओके गाइस आयदान हु रोट आयदान जस्ट हियर ऊर्मिला पवार ऊर्मिला पवार रोट आयदान विल यू रिमेंबर गाइस हु इज द ऑथर ऑफ करुकु कहां गई वो नहीं है बामा बामा रोड करकु संगदी करकु संगदी देन बिफोर दैट आउटकास्ट एंड अनटचेबल्स Outcast and Untouchables are by Narendra Jadav. Outcast and Untouchables both by Narendra Jadav. Then ये बोलो शांता by Kamble. Shanta Bai Kamble is the author of the first Dalit autobiography by a woman. The kaleidoscopic story of my life. What did baby Kamble write? Our life. What did Kumud Pade write? Antaspod. Antaspod. Aidan means the weave of my life. Who wrote the prison we broke? Who wrote the prison we broke? Baby Kamble, and I'll write that here. The prison we broke is by Baby Kamble. So many. Om Prakash Valmiki wrote Jutan. Vasant Moon Road, Growing Up Untouchable in India. Will you remember everything? So that brings us to the end of this session. Did you like today's session, everybody? That is Magya Jalmachi Ahe. That is the kaleidoscopic story of my life. Translation. Right. So, did you like today's session, everyone? Thank you very much. Bye bye. See you tomorrow. Tomorrow also I'll come. Okay. we have more remaining bye next week we'll do literary theory five day course all of you should attend okay guys good night god bless you take the powerpoint from the group okay i will post all powerpoint today bye